Oh, sh Oh, f I am sorry. That's all right. Ain't no big deal. No, but that is a big deal. Look at that. I, I tell folks it's just grass. It'll grow back. But look at how good it cut it. So hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. I hope you're having a great day today. And my good old mate here, Chap. No, mate, that's mate, Australian. Mate, I like mate. Um, well, no, mate is Australian, but either's fine. Chap, mate, Chap's, Chap's buddy, a little bit too friend, uh, com companion, whatever you want to call it. Good friend of mine, Mr. Roland from Allet Mower. And he has a this is brand spanking new, right? This is new. This is the first one into the United States, although we have just taken delivery of a container load, which are shipping out now. So yeah. I, I feel very honored and very privileged. And, and I appreciate it that you, you thought of me to bring this machine out here. And it's really cool, man. I, I, I love seeing first things for the first time. And uh, hopefully the folks watching this video will really uh, get to see what this thing will do. So. Well, we're, we're very excited because this, is a, this has been a long time coming. We've worked on this for two and a half years nearly, and a lot of sweat and tears has gone into it. It's really a big step forward for us, a quantum step forward. We think it's a, a bit of a game changer for us as a company anyway, uh, and we're very excited. The sales have been through the roof. Um, and if it was a machine that had one or two things different on it, okay, there may be questions. But from our perspective, we've tried to incorporate sort of eight or nine things that we've learnt over the last uh, 10, 12 years with our homeowner machines. And we really think we've sort of knocked it out of the park with this and we're very excited. I mean, I think it's, it's, uh, it's, a, big, it's a big and an important machine for us Sweet. going forward. And like you were explaining to me earlier, this is kind of, well, you've got a few different lines of residential style and then homeowner style, and then you've got some commercial big boy style mowers, and this kind of falls in between that somehow? It does. I mean, I think, you know, the entry level machines are quite good for people to see if they really enjoy the, the experience of get, taking their lawn and, and turning it into an ornamental lawn. Um, you know, for people that really want the very best, we think that this is a really, uh, say, an important machine because it, it allows you to do all the things that we want to do agronomically to a lawn, mm -hmm but much faster, much easier. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just ticks all the boxes from our perspective. And as you say, you know, we are now having a lot of landscapers that are starting with the machine. We've got a number of landscapers actually that are starting to offer real mowing as a service. And this is the machine that they're starting with at this season. And uh, you know, a bunch of the machines that we've just had arrived are literally going straight out to landscapers. Right. So we're, you know, we again are really excited because it just gives somebody, um, again, with the Ego platform as well, uh, a one-stop shop. They can, they can mow, they can verticut, they can aerate, they can brush, dethatch, all that kind of good stuff. And they can use the same battery system in their blowers and strimmers and hedge clippers and chainsaws and stuff like that. So it's really, on, a, on the back of a trailer, it makes for a really good system. I think that's when we first met a few years ago and I was looking at the outlet for myself, that was what was most impressive to me about the machine. I'm a Ventrac guy. I don't know if you've seen my big Ventrac tractor, yep. and it does anything and everything with one tractor. This is basically the exact same thing. I can do any and everything with my yard with one base unit, and then I got all these different cartridges that just kind of pop in and out, and I don't, I don't have to have multiple pieces of equipment yep. sitting around. I, I think that's... Well, and, and, and also for the homeowner, obviously the landscape is one thing, but for the homeowner who wants again to take their lawn to the next level, you know, they don't want necessarily want to have a shed full of different machines to be able to have the cartridges, hang them on the wall, take up less yeah. space. Mm -hmm. Even with our major league baseball facilities, they like the fact with our professional machines, again, space is at a premium and they like the idea that they can put stuff out, uh, put it away. It's not taking up loads of space. Yeah, real it's... doesn't take up that much space. So that's really cool. And I, I'll have to say, since I've been real mowing, the quality of cut, versus rotary style mowing that I've been doing for 20 years, you can't compare them. 
that it's it's that much difference taking the uplift out you know i'm an uplift yep. fan yeah, you like but you take that one out and you do a standard reel mower versus standard rotary mower the the, the cut quality and the health of the turf yep. you cannot compare the two that's the big thing with the system is the health of the turf and getting away from using some of the chemicals, some of the harmful chemicals yep. that we still use here. Mm -hmm. Having a system like this to really alleviate issues with fungus and disease and also invasive species coming into the lawn. It just, it just gives the homeowner or the landscaper you know, a really impressive tool that they yep. can get stuff done. With. So the big changes here obviously to run through them fairly quickly are at the front. We obviously have a new design of grass catcher, much lighter and, and that works much better. We have the familiar front roller that most people are, are used to seeing. We also have the scraper bar. This keeps this front roller nice clean, so you can adjust this on the screw. Most of our clients really love the rake that's just behind the front roller. This again is brilliant for presenting the grass really well for the reel before it gets cut. That helps obviously with the quality of cut, but also helps with the striping effect, so you get even better striping mm -hmm. from our machines. We then get on to the really exciting part of this, which is the quick change uh, system. Uh, we call it the ultra quick change quick system because obviously it's so much faster. Basically, it's one lever on the side that you release, two retaining hinges, and the cartridge comes straight out. Oh, that's nice. So it really takes about five, ten seconds. Yeah, it's just a matter of getting it lined up right. Getting it lined up and then having it lock it down and that's now in place and ready to go oh boy i like that yeah that's sweet right there the height of cut is also a big improvement here so we can cut from five millimeters up to 50 millimeters which is right on two inches um, again it works brilliantly well we just turn the knob and you have the measuring on the side here in millimeters and i believe the u.s machines will be coming with inches as well it also shows you on the on the bottom of this that you obviously have the heights above ground, but then you have the heights below ground where you can start to do your dethatching and Ooh. agronomic activities. So you can be much more aggressive with this machine. Oh, I like that. That's really, that way it takes all the guesswork out. This machine is, is much more suited for, to, to, to be more aggressive. It has much more uh, adjustability than our previous machines. So when you really do want to get into the turf, when you're overseeding or when you're removing the, the thatch, you can really do a tremendous job there. Obviously, it's an Ego battery platform um, that we're very pleased with. Um, it has, you know, the batteries come in sort of five, seven and a half, ten, and now 12 amp hour batteries. We're going to be selling the 12 amp hour batteries. So you'll get really a lot of life out of a battery. And again, that encourages you to be able to scarify and then mow or verticut mm -hmm. and mow. And you're not uh, obviously without a, a... So the big question I'm going to get is how long can you operate the machine on one full charge? Well, we, again, as with all battery machines, the harder you work it, the, the quicker the battery drains out of it. Correct. So, you know, on a, on a five amp hour battery, you're looking at about 30 minutes to 40 minutes charge. Again, depending upon the grass type and how aggressive you're trying to be, mm -hmm. it can be longer or shorter. But of course, with a lot of people, actually an awful lot of the people that have bought this machine have already got Ego batteries for their blowers and stuff. And so it's just a quick change to change the battery out and put a new one in. This machine does have a data logger on it. This is our test and development mach machine. So the machines that we're shipping obviously don't have this, but this is okay. just sending information back to the UK as we use it. So another key improvement that we've looked to make with regards to this machine is with the handlebar arrangements. Uh, certainly here in the United States, we find that people are often quite a little bit taller and our other machines didn't quite have the flexibility we were looking for. This machine has uh, a tremendous amount of flexibility and so we can have it in its storing position which is fully upright. When it's in this position all the electronics are turned off and so you now even if you if you hit any of the switches nothing's going to nothing's going to start even if you have a battery in situ so the machine is absolutely safe. This allows you to then roll the machine over and you can get easy access to the reel and the bed knife, the rear drum all the other items underneath here that you might want to from time to time take a look at and check on and clean if necessary. So that's kind of cool. Um, and it's also good in a storage position in a shed. Again, it's taking up less space. Obviously to extend it, we have three positions on here um, for, for, for different heights of people. Um, I tend to use either the middle or the, or the second position 
or the th sorry, the third position. And I'm going to put it in the second position for right now, just so we're we're comfortable. Um, the handlebars extend, so we can have we have multiple positions in here where we can have the handlebars for again different heights of people. You can, of course, specifically if it's your machine and you're going to keep it, and you have a particular height you like, you can obviously still drill um, the the bars. But then you have a really really comfortable heighted mach machine. Yeah, that, and again, that's really neat. I want to make sure they they get that. As if you're you know, a, if one of these holes doesn't fit your height, you come in here and you adjust the handlebars to exactly where you want it. You can drill your own hole in here and then it's set to your height yep. permanently. permanently. Other than that, obviously the controls, uh, you know, we wanted to make the machine really, really comfortable. Um, and so we still have safety features on this that are very important. But basically you can operate the machine with either hand, both hands. Uh, you have the drive system on the two green buttons here. Um, once engaged, you, you obviously press these and you're good to go. I can just turn the knob here to have drive. Oh, and speed. so I can literally, I can literally adjust the speed as I want and I can just engage with one hand or another. Um, for the engaging of the reel or whatever cartridge you have in, in, in the machine, basically you have a button in the middle here and you pull your dead man's lever and that engages whatever cartridge you have in, in the machine. Obviously if you let go, the machine is safe. It's very well balanced as well. Again, it's quite a heavy machine. It's heavier than the Kensington and the Liberty machines. It's not a machine that you would easily pick up on its own, um, but it's, it has tremendous ballast. And obviously, if you did have to pick the machine up, you can remove the battery and the cartridge, and then the machine and, is considerably lighter. Oh, yeah, so then, then it's, then it's more mov movable. Yeah. Let's uh, set the height at about an inch, because that's what I've, I've been mowing out here. And maybe we'll mow a little bit with it, and then we'll uh, put some of the different attachments and go through them. An inch is how many centimeters? You're supposed to know. No, that. no, no. Well, it's not on the it's not on the machine, and I'm you know I'm going we to don't, plead. We don't do centimeters. I'm going here. to plead ignorance. Let's, let's let me Google, let me check. Twenty five point four. Twenty five point four. Twenty five point four millimeters. So this is reel to bed knife. This is where the actual reel comes in contact with the bed knife and creates that scissor-like action that cuts the grass. Now, what does Alec recommend? I know some people like a little noise. Some people don't like a little noise. What do you, what do well, you like? Well, we personally like whisper quiet. Whisper quiet. You know, if you think, you know, we see a lot of people do the paper test and obviously yeah. grass is much more fragile than paper. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we would much rather to have it whisper quiet than actually metal on metal. If you, if you set a, two in, a, a 20 inch reel and you set it fractionally out, you end up generating an enormous amount of energy over half an hour, 40 minutes cutting. And then you start to run the risk of getting the bed knife to start. Um, that makes complete perfect uh, sense. Warping. So metal on metal gets hot. It's very important. This is in the Sterling, we have a whole new cartridge system. So this is not the same cartridge that you see in a Kensington or a Liberty. The bed knife is significantly thicker and it's set slightly differently. So it, it really gets a very good quality of cut. This is the 10 blade and we have the six blade as well. Um, so it really is, whisper quiet you can just hear it ticking away and and the idea is to get um, a good quality cut but to have it long lasting Again, I can do it with one hand or not, it doesn't affect the drive. It's a very light roller, so I can turn it very easily and pull it backwards and forwards without having to use any real energy.
Now, I think I've done pretty good lines there, so you better not screw this up. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, no, that, uh, that looks really good. Press the button. Yeah. Squeeze the trigger. And then you can adjust the speed. Yeah. A little bit faster. Okay. Little bit slower. Yeah, I like that speed right there. And then you can just, yeah, you can either just let go or what have you. It's nice and light. I think my line's straighter than yours. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. Think? I'm not going to argue with you. It's your <laughs> video, so. No, no, they look great. And look, that's, that's, I, I like to call it virgin grass. That's virgin real mode turf. And the sun's not out. Yeah. We don't have No, that. it's good. Wow. No. And look at the stripes. Yeah, I'm very pleased. Yeah, that's a extremely clean cutting mower. So, I, with, I, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit because I've only got one eye, but, um, that releases it, cartridge comes out. Very nice. Line the cartridge up. You have a guide on one side. Look at that. I'm not as quick as Austin and Steve back in England, but I'm getting there. You know what that reminds me of? My C34. Yeah. How easy it is. Again, to the, it the idea is, you know, we saw how, how simple it was on the professional machines, and we just wanted for homeowners and landscapers to make this really simple because it encourages you then to use the cartridges yeah. more. This is the turf rake. Yes, in the in the homeowner range we call it the scarifier. And it's got these little fine, not so aggressive tines on it, teeth on it, and it gently combs the grass. It's absolutely probably my favorite. Thing. It's the best for all of our, for all of our facilities, whether it be homeowners or stadiums. It's the best cartridge we do. It's great for obviously cleaning up and picking up leaves and debris and other bits and pieces, but it's also great as a comb to comb the grass. You'll hear it flicking up a solid material like stones and other bits and pieces in the canopy that you know you may not have, uh, you may not see, and you may not be aware is there. So it's just a great all-round machine, and it of course strengthens the stripes. And so just to have a look, this is the material that we're taking out. All stuff that you want to get gone from the canopy. It just does a tremendous job, it, and that's just two passes. It opens, up, opens the canopy up and lets the turf breathe. Getting light and air into the canopy is such an important aspect of what we do, especially when it comes to disease and fungus. Because the more light and air you can get in the canopy, the drier you can get it, the harder it is for those things to get established in your lawn. I agree, 100%. So just to run through the cartridges very quickly, firstly, obviously, you'll see we have a new drive system on these uh, that, again, we think is a significant improvement. We have the six blade that comes with the machine, and that's really good for grass from three quarters of an inch and higher. The transition area is basically three quarters of an inch. Three quarters of an inch and lower, you're going to want the ten blade, um, but that gives you the option of, of having both. Um, and again, we do think that this new cartridge, uh, this new real cartridge is a, is a big step forward for us. The brush cartridge again is great. This is a new design of brush, uh, a little bit stronger and tougher. Again, very good for collecting debris, leaves, that kind of stuff. Also very good when you top dress to help you uh, settle the material down into the canopy and get it um, nice and smooth. And then with these cartridges, you have the dethatching cartridge. This is something that I like to recommend using in the spring after the last frost. Uh, again, you can get a lot more aggressive now with this cartridge and you can really set the, the lawn up for the season ahead by really doing a really good dethatching. We that's, have That's a pretty gnarly looking attachment. This too. is pretty aggressive. I mean, yeah. it really is designed as a scoop to pull material out. Um, and you, you are going to be quite aggressive with it um, when you're using this. Yeah, I actually used this one on, my, uh, on the bluegrass out here before I top dressed it or leveled it with my C34 and it does a, a phenomenal job yeah. at removing anything and everything that's not firmly attached. Well, it's also very good when you want to get some air into it, uh, you know, almost as a form of verification, or when you're trying to put seed down to break the surface to be able mm. to put more seed down. Again, when you're top dressing, it's great. You make, uh, you, you'll, you know, you'll obviously make slits in the ground. 
and that again encourages the sand to get deeper into the soil and, yeah. and help with, with drainage. So it's again, it's a very good tool, often overlooked, but something that you just have to be sensitive as to when you're using it. You don't obviously want to use this in the summer when you really have the heat. Yeah, it's really and you want, Yeah, you don't want to do any harm to the grass. Absolutely. Um, the aerator is again a great cartridge. This now works much better with this machine because it really will go into the ground more significantly. Uh, obviously note, uh, Pete, that this doesn't have a drive system. So this is literally designed to roll into the ground. Uh, if obviously if we were driving this, we'd be tearing the ground. So mm. the idea is just for the spikes to go in. And as I say, with this machine, it, it specifically works significantly better than, than in our other machines because of the design and layout of the machine. The, the, the other thing that I'd like to, to note for, for anyone using these, uh, the scarifier does such a great job of, of combing the grass. And it's, it's oftentimes it's quite important to get a, a, quite a little bit of combing done in, in advance to using things like the, the dethatcher or the verticutter. If you've combed the grass to a, you know, a decent extent, then you'll do a lot less harm with these vertical blades as they go into the canopy because they're going with the grain as opposed to going across it. Yep. Um, so this then is the verticutter, and this is especially important with southern grasses. All grasses need to be verticut, but this is especially so with Bermudas, Paspalums, Zoysia grasses. Um, I like to recommend using this certainly every uh, four to five weeks. Uh, you don't have to be too aggressive. Um, uh, Especially with Bermuda. Those stolons, those runners, that thing's going to cut those runners and that Bermuda is going to thicken up. Well, and, and it's very important with the southern grasses, we're trying to encourage them to grow vertically. Their mm -hmm. natural habit is to grow laterally. Mm -hmm. So the more we can encourage vertical growth, the more we can get it tighter and looking smarter. Looking smarter. That's I, the don't, idea. I, don't, I don't think I've heard that. That's yet. the idea. Do you think one day I might can look smarter? I, I'm sure you could look smarter. <laughs> we just need to find a, a shirt and tie to, to work with you. A certain tie, I know that's right. That's quite a bit different when you got that sun yeah. to your back. Holy cow. So I'm gonna give it one more last clean cut mode. And we'll see what it looks like. Oh sh we forgot to set Oh f I am sorry. That's all right, ain't no big deal. No, but that is a big deal. Look at that. I, I tell folks it's just grass. It'll grow back. But look at how good it cut it. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. It's no big deal. When I looked down in the bagger, I was like, holy cow, that's cutting a lot off. Well, we caught it in time. Well, not really. That's just the extra. I am sorry about that's that, extra Pete. Hard strike. That's a, that's a... When do you have when do you have your event? Don't worry about it. No, I, okay. I am worried about I it. I, I can fix that with no problem. Put a little extra fertilizer. But is it a week or two away, or when, when is it? Don't uh, tell me it's tomorrow May, night. May twenty seventh. Oh, then then I'm no, 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 then no, I'm no, less. No, I, I thought it was like in the next over the weekend or something, and I was thinking, no. Uh, oh, even, even if it was, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't, it's, it's just grass. One machine, and you got all these options you can do with it. Yeah. I like it. We're very excited. We really are. We're very pleased and very excited about the machine. We, do, we really do think there's not another machine on the market like this, and we're, we're, we're really excited. Yeah. If someone wants one of these and wants to purchase it for their, their business, their lawn care company, their homeowner, or whatever, how do they go about doing it? Well, we're we are taking orders. The first, the first containers are sold out. Uh, we're taking orders now for delivery, probably end of May, early June. Obviously, we are being hit like everyone else by the shipping and container issues around the world, trying to get stuff here. But yes, I mean, we're, you know, we're very, we've got machines coming through all the time. Um, so I, I would say if you ordered one now, you'd be looking at the end of May. Um, all the machines coming before then are sold. So, okay. um, so, the, so they're roughly a month out. 
A month, six weeks, I would say. And you know, do they go to Allet.com USA? Yes, go to Allet-USA.com, and there you'll see the Sterling range. It's available in two sizes, a 17-inch machine that's called the Sterling 43, and then a Sterling 51, which is this machine, which is the 20-inch machine. Thank you very much. No, thank you. It's been good to see you again. Good yeah, to see you again. It's my pleasure, man. I got to say, though, I'm quite impressed, because this bluegrass is thick. Yeah. And that thing just chop through that like it yeah yeah no no boo -boo. I, well i must say i i was i was a little bit surprised because the machine didn't seem to blink an eye because you, know, you know you know you know battery powered machines you know taking that much off i'd almost expect it to bog down a little bit i, I would have expected that to bog down so the uh, up close look at our little boo boo we what were we doing raking we were turf raking we were turf, turf raking so obviously you're going to go deeper with that and uh we both made a rookie mistake and didn't check the height and look at that look at how low i mean you, you can put on that go get a putter man Let's you could you could be bit. close to doing it <laughs> yeah. with with the 10 blade you can go down as low as three millimeters so oh. you can you could definitely use it for putting greens holy cow but yeah that's all good it's just grass and that'll that'll grow back in the next couple of weeks and uh i'll put a little extra fertilizer or something on it and It'll be looking golden. Good. Golden in a month. Hey, I think this you've done really well with this grass. I mean, this you say the second year? No, I renovated it last year. Oh, right. This is, first, this is year number one bluegrass. First, the first spring for this bluegrass. And it's, uh, it's as thick as any yeah, turf it's, I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, no, I mean, there's no, there's no issue there. Yeah. I've got a handful of spots, like right there. Yeah. And then right there. Uh, I've been kind of slowly working on... But they'll, they'll come, they'll come. But I'm, I could not be more happy. More happy with it. it this will look super, especially once you've raked it properly and then you've got the, the uplift on it. Holy moly. And that leveling I did, you know, I leveled it with a sand compost mix about a month ago. Yeah. That made all the difference. It's so soft yep. when you walk on it now and it's yep. got that cushiony effect. And of course it took out a few little imperfections of bumps and things I had. Yep. I'll probably spot sand level it next year. Like I'll mow it all yep. year this year yep. and I'll remember, well, I've got a little bump over here. Yep. And I'll just bring a handful of sand and fix that spot. And then I'm just gonna keep mowing it and having fun. Kids are gonna love it. Oh, I cannot wait till they play ball. Kids are gonna absolutely yeah. love it. And the, the, the opening day is going to blow people away. Yeah. What I got planned, yeah. it's, it's extremely uh, radical, I guess, what I got planned for out here. So. I'm excited, man. Wow. Well, I'm happier that that's a month away because otherwise I was I was quietly going to be like, yeah, no, that's fine. Well, hey, there you go. That's the Allet Sterling first look and I more like to come. It. Yeah, hopefully like more it. to come. It's bad to the bone. So Roland talked to me about a coupon code that would get you a hundred dollars off a purchase of a Sterling mower. The coupon code is GCI one hundred. So I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. That was my wonderful daughter dropping her iPhone. You guys have been extremely supportive by watching my channel and using our website. So I would like to also provide a hundred dollars off to anyone who might be interested in purchasing a Sterling mower. There's no need in doing anything special. Simply use the code GCI100 and you'll get the $100 off from Allet and I will also provide a $100 discount as well.
So that I. I'm so sorry. 